as I just learned, here is what you do with the simichi. This is where we have it, a little snack. <laughs> yeah, you're becoming an Eastern European. Susie's wondering the proper way to eat these easily, so you gotta get the pointy part and put it against some solid tooth and crush it. And then use your front teeth to separate it and your tongue. I'm thinking too hard about that. <laughs> we're off on another hike out here in the desert in Arizona. So we're doing the Wave Cave Trail. We've never done it before and yeah, it's actually pretty popular. Lots of people, a lot of first timers as well. So it should be pretty easy. Just the end gets a little steep, but the end looks really, really cool. So it should be a really nice little hike. Yeah, we're picking lower elevation hikes for a reason, which we'll disclose way later. <laughs> but for now, we gotta keep it easy. Wild, wild west. Definitely feel like we're in a western movie right now. Things got a lot more bushy over here. Getting really close up against these mountains now. It definitely got steeper over here. It's not too bad yet, I feel like there's more to come. Of the mountain out of sight of the initial trio head. It's a little steeper, but it's not terrible. Maybe the very end gets really bad. I don't know. It's right up there. I made it. It's larger than it looks from afar. It's a proper cave. I thought it would be much smaller actually. A little bit of moisture in the back coming through somehow. I always have no idea how that happens in the desert. Interesting shape. This cave is like the biggest, the coolest one I think I've seen. Really? Well, I mean like <laughs> the most shallow cave that I've seen. You know, like we went to that, those ones, the Lenora Lake caves. Yeah, it is different. Like, those weren't as cool. But no, this one is cooler yeah, for being this cool. kind of cave, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I like caverns, the deep yeah. ones. Yeah, the yeah. shallow cave. <laughs> the coolest shallow cave, not the deep caves. It's a cool cave. I like the Arizona landscape. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't disappoint. So. We're impressed and we come from a hiking paradise and this place is on par. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really cool. A lot of people, a lot of kids. So it's good to see a lot of people getting outside and enjoying all this nature here. Even in December. Mm -hmm. Actually, especially in December. <laughs> it's already pretty hot. That's true. So yeah, you kind of have to do it in the winter. Yeah, this is probably peak hiking season right now here. We're going to head down now, which will be the trickier part of the hike. But it's not that long, so we'll make our way. Susie's got her sticks. And I'll be, I'll be leading the way and we'll be fine. We are now 
now down the mountain right behind this great area for hiking. We did it! <laughs> it was nice. Yeah, I love hiking in the desert it turns out. Mm -hmm. Never done it all that much but we love it. We are a little short on water but we are faring all right. We're back in the flat and the sun is a little cooler and dimmer. It's all good. Mm -hmm. So this is recommended. Sounds like all around the Superstition Mountains is paradise for hiking as long as the weather allows.